So have you ever wondered how much productivity tools are? Well, let's dive into some of the most premium productivity tools on the market. We're only gonna be diving into four in today's video, but these are pretty expensive ones when it comes to picking out a productivity application. So welcome, my name is Francesco. I'm very excited to dive into this video. I love productivity apps and pricing. It's a weird, weird obsession in terms of looking at which ones are more expensive than others. It's, I love, the concept of productivity tools being like a car dealership, like being able to find the right one for you, but obviously there's different prices and different things, you know, Ford versus Ferrari sort of thing. Um, but if you're in the hunt for a productivity tool, we've made a car dealership online. It's called Tool Finder. Go and find it out and I'm sure you'll find a lot of benefit from it. So there are lots of different premium productivity tools and I wanna start with the task management application, which is called Motion. And it's very similar to the likes of Sansama in its pricing and it's in a pretty big bracket. The pricing per month is $19. Um, Sansama is $16, but if you went for the monthly pricing on Sansama, it's $20. So that's quite a lot of money. I always thought there would be a premium productivity application that focuses on tasks like this, and there is. And that's because Motion has some artificial intelligence in there. It also has a quite a nice look, but surprisingly, it's only available on web at the moment with probably plans to add desktop and mobile soon. The same with Sansama. Um, it's expanding, but naturally doesn't have a fully fledged mobile application. But these are really specialist tools because they what they try and do is approach these systems of task management in an entirely different way. But wow, almost 20 bucks per month to secure, secure uh, $240 a year to get your task management done is an expensive one. But again, if you're somebody who wants to invest in that, this could be a good option for you. A little bit of a pause to understand the concept of some of these. Um, it's a little bit like if you like spending money in, uh, I don't know, uh, in a on specific really high quality fruit, <laughs> then you're going to spend more in that department than you say you are cereal, because you might not like cereal, you might not spend much money in it, but you maybe get the basic there and the advanced one there, because or the advanced fruit that is, because you're, you're, you're tailoring it to what your needs are. I think it's something that was mentioned in the book, uh, Ram, Ramit Sethi, I can't remember, the, I think it's how to make, how to become rich or something like that. The concept of actually picking things based on what your needs are. So obviously it's like working out which ones are right for you and where you're willing to invest money in. Because some people wanna spend a lot more in the notes app, but then a lot less on their task app or maybe not have a task app. So it's really where you allocate your resources and your money. Next up is Calendar. And I thought Morgan Calendar was expensive when it first launched, but Vimcal has introduced their Calendar app at $15 a month. Um, obviously billed annually, it's $12.50, but still $15 a month is quite expensive for a calendar application. But again, something that a lot of people will see as an investment if they focus a lot on events and meetings and bookings and things like that. But one thing to consider when looking at a calendar application. Next up is Superhuman. Superhuman was $30 a month. And they do have actually introduced a new team pricing plan, uh, which is per user, I believe it's a growth plan, $45 dollars per month. So again, this is a premium email application, the most expensive out of our options here. But again, if you invest and spend a lot of time on email, high level email, VCs, investors probably spend a lot of time there. This could be a good application for managing email. Or if you manage sponsorship deals and you need a fast, reliable email, this could be a good option for you. Next up is note-taking applications. And I always thought Rome Research was expensive at $15 a month but it's recently been introduced as uh, an alter. <laughs> There's a friend to it in the pricing ranks. $14.99, Evernote have introduced their pricing at for this note-taking application experience. And they've also got a $17.99 for professional plan. Obviously you can get Evernote for free. I don't think you can get Rome for free in my memory. But again, something that if you invest in a lot of note-taking applications, this might be a good investment for you. But again, all of these productivity applications, if you use them all, you're probably pay spending, if you went for the whole premium let setup, over $100 a month on it. That's $1,200 a year, almost, um, if you were going to invest in all of these applications. But it's amazing to see these type of tools in terms of digging a bit deeper into where they fit in the scale of things. 
So hopefully you enjoyed this premium productivity tool outlook. If you're looking for a premium productivity tool, there are much more of them now on the market. If you want to find more productivity tools, go over to Tool Finder. I think you'll find it fantastic. <laughs> Thank you very much, folks, and I'll see you all very soon. Cheerio.